City Councilman Saad El Amin says these Confederate statues offend him and other African Americans, so they shouldn't be paying for their upkeep. The issue is what is the origin and what does it mean? Because when you put taxpayers' money to support something, then you glorify it and you defend it. And this is the basis of white supremacy. El Amin thinks the $40,000 for annual maintenance should come from a private group. But Paul Finus, who lives a block away and heads up the Fan District Association, says that's impossible. We couldn't raise that funds, those funds. We'd, uh, we have a, a small budget that we, uh, uh, we, we support uh, programs for children and uh, um, fix up campaigns for the community. Uh, mostly on a voluntary basis, so the expenditure of actual funds is quite limited. Jen Vidham lives on Monument and agrees. I moved here three years ago living on Monument, and everybody in the country knows Monument. One statue, however, is not on El Amin's list. Tennis great Arthur Ashe. El Amin says Ashe's personal history is not offensive to anyone. I believe that, that the public has and government has a, an obligation to, um, to put up statuary. But they should only be putting up statutes to men and women who are to be admired, 